A rain barrel is one of my favorite tools to building a healthy garden ecosystem. Not only do we store the harvest of the rain, but it prevents pollution from running down our streets and contaminating our ocean. If you have a house with gutters, you can install a rain barrel. It's really that easy. Let's look at the tools. We're gonna to use a cordless drill and a kit. We use to source parts from different stores to fabricate into a DIY rain barrel. Recently, we found this tool kit to make it really easy and cost effective. It comes with spigots, fittings, and all the adaptions to connect from your downspout to your rain barrel. First step is to drill a hole at the bottom of the rain barrel so we can harvest all that water that gravity will push out. Once we've drilled our hole, then we're gonna insert this threaded bushing. Simple trick here is just folding it over and inserting it directly into that small hole. Simple. Next step, once we have the threaded bushing, is then inserting the spigot. And this is where water comes out, allows us to harvest all of the rainwater out of the rain barrel and easily accessible into a watering can or into a hose. Next step is to drill a hole to connect our rain barrel to our rain gutter downspout. Strategically, we can place this anywhere we want on the barrel that's closest to our downspout. I usually lean towards 90 degrees off of the spigot. We have another rubber bushing that we're gonna fit inside of this hole that we just drilled to connect to our downspout, just like that. Once we've inserted the rubber bushing into the connection point of the rain barrel, now we need to figure out how do we connect it to the downspout. We've got this really nice flexible tubing here that allows us to connect to the rain barrel and this simple fitting that connects to the back end to connect to the rain gutter downspout. Here's what a rain barrel looks like installed. First thing we did after assembling it was stilting it off the ground. Here we've got a wooden stand, but you can easily use cinder blocks as well. The level of where the water flows down the downspout to the rain barrel wants to be flush. If the level's too high, water is going to overflow. If it's too low, water is not going to fill the barrel. Use a simple watering can or you can connect a hose and let gravity fill your hose and water your garden. As you can see, it's got a nice little flow here. Remember to empty your barrel between the rain so that the next time it rains, the rain barrel will fill up. Cheers to building a rain barrel to create a healthy garden and a healthy ocean. Mm -hmm.